Hello, this is Mark from Productive Computing. If you're new to the world of Biometrics and FileMaker and want to learn more, stay tuned and we'll have additional videos available where we can explore this topic in depth. This particular video is made for those existing customers who are already using the Biometric Fingerprint Reader from Productive Computing within their FileMaker platform. In fact, it's used all over the world. It runs on Windows and the plugin installs on FileMaker Client or FileMaker Pro Advanced is what it's now called. And this plugin allows you to enroll a person's finger or fingers and store them in FileMaker in a secure way. It's all encoded or encrypted. And then from there, you can later verify that person by uh, scanning one or more of their fingers. And that allows the script to either proceed moving forward and saying, yes, Joe, you are Joe, Mary, you are Mary, or cancel out saying, no, you're not who you say you are. You can't proceed with this particular function. The uses of this plugin are wide and vast. Most people use the plugin for time clock systems. If you're making a time clock system in FileMaker and you want to have actual proof that that person is who they say they are, you can incorporate a plugin like this with a fingerprint reader. You'll see the compatible readers down below uh, the description on this video or in and around this website. And what that allows you to do is you can enroll that person and verify them. And you have now what's essentially a foolproof, highly secure mechanism to enhance the existing security that FileMaker brings to you. So this plugin doesn't actually replace FileMaker security. All of that is still working just the way it always has. What this does is it enhances the security in such a way that you, the developer, can now introduce fingerprints as another verification source when you're in the middle of the script. So that's pretty exciting. So that's what we've done. Now in this new version, we've upped the ante quite a bit. We rebuilt most of the plugin from scratch using the latest tools available and the SDKs provided. So we now work with additional readers. Uh, the other thing we've done is we've made it 64-bit compatible. We're still 32-bit compatible, but now we're also 64-bit compatible, which allows you, the developer, to move forward with confidence to know we're going to be compatible with the latest versions, and we've got your back there. Because we've rebuilt some of it from scratch, uh, we've actually performed a, an enhancement that allows us to get better performance out of the plugin, meaning the initial verify now actually happens in a second or less where before it might have been several seconds on that initial verification so we've streamlined the process there we've also updated our demo file all our documentation and we've got a brand new installer which installs both the plugin and the necessary components as well as the drivers that drive the fingerprint reader so that everything works together in one unified installer making your deployment that much easier. I also wanted to talk to you about another feature that we added, which is the ability to get the actual image of the fingerprint. Now, in and of itself, the image really doesn't provide any additional security or replace any of the existing security of the plugin. It's merely a way to get an image, perhaps present that temporarily on the screen during the enrollment process or the verify process to allow the user to get a sense that something is happening. They can see their fingerprint on the screen. So it's just a better user enhancement altogether. So this was something that the SDK provided us. So we thought we would pass that along and put it in the actual plugin in so that you could take advantage of that neat feature. So we're excited about these new features. Stay tuned as we talk more about biometrics in the world of FileMaker, and we can take a look at some more use cases, show you some examples, and share some other ideas that we have, how you can incorporate a plugin like this within your environment. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more content like this, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, liking our Facebook page, or following us on Twitter and LinkedIn. We also have a monthly newsletter describing the latest happenings here from Productive Computing, as well as other industry-related news. Thanks for watching.